Welcome back to News 12, Varsity's Game Time. Lou Brogno with you here at Hirschfield Park in Pompton Lakes. The first ever NJIC championship game. And the first half, a terrific first half of football. Pompton Lakes leading Hasbrook Heights 13-6. Both teams coming into this game undefeated. Pompton Lakes in that first half getting touchdowns. Kevin Cotter to Nick Pazamato, a 22-yard touchdown pass. And then a 31-yard touchdown screen pass from Cotter to Chris Greco, who ran it in. Hasbro Kites got their touchdown on a beautiful touchdown run by Frank Quachon. Both teams missed an extra point, and we're at 13-6. to six. Kevin Cotter in that first half, 8 of 14, 132 yards through the air, and two touchdown passes. And Frank Quatron running the football for Hasbro Kites, 14 carries, 99 yards, and a touchdown. Three of seven through the air, 36 yards. The stats courtesy of my buddy Sean Riley. And we are underway in the second half. A short kick that is taken by Ficini. He takes it up across the 40 to the 42-yard line. So the Aviators have the football first here in the second half, trailing by just seven. It's 13 to six. Low scoring first half for both of these teams. As we mentioned, they are two high powered offenses. Hasbrook Heights averaging nearly 43 points per game. And uh, Pompton Lakes just over 35 points per contest. First and 10 for the Aviators at the 42 yard line. And here is the handoff coming wide and breaking into the secondary up across the 40 yard line is Evan Georgiatos. So Evan Georgiatos with a nice run on first down, and he takes it all the way to the Pompton Lakes 40-yard line. It's first and 10, Hasbro Kites. Here's Quacho, gets outside, hits the corner, and bumped out of bounds by Pazamato. Nick Pazamato on the stop, but Quacho picks up second down and five. five yards, the second down at five, five at the 35. Here's the give up the middle, breaking tackles across the 30-yard line. Is John Ayurado. Ayurado coming in. 50 carries, 395 yards. He's got seven touchdowns on the season running the football. He gives the Aviators a first down. They're inside the 30 to the Pumpton Lakes 28. Purdy goes in motion on a first and ten play. They give Ayurado again. This time he tries left tackle. Takes it up the middle to the 27-yard line. Gets to the 26. Second and eight. Two receivers go right side for the Aviators. Quattro looks over towards the sideline to get the play for Hasbrook Heights. He keeps it himself. This time, nowhere to go as he's brought down at the line of scrimmage. Hit first by Frank Negrini. Negrini in on the play. And Cameron Kleinot also in on the tackle. 
Planet, 48 tackles, four tackles for a loss from his defensive tackle slot for the Cardinals this year. Third down and 10. Patron back to throw, has plenty of time, fires over the middle, and it's incomplete. Had a receiver open, but off of the hands, a little bit overthrown, intended for Phil Miller. Lucky that the Aviators didn't get that one picked off. So it's fourth down and ten. Fourth and ten. Patron back to throw. Now he rolls out left side being hotly pursued, and he will be driven out of bounds. Good defensive play by Nick McDonald, the strong safety who comes up to make the play. McDonald coming off that big defensive game against Rutherford last week where he had 11 tackles and two picks, two key picks in the fourth quarter to stop Rutherford and send them down to their first defeat of the season. So Pops and Lakes takes over on downs, first and 10 for the Cardinals at the 28-yard line. Nine minutes and 33 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Steve Sanders goes wide to the left. Ed Cotter with an empty backfield. He gives to Posamato coming around. Posamato is hit and driven down. Picks up maybe three or four. Played well by Ayurado, who strung it out nicely for the Aviators. Second, and we'll call it, say, six or so. Pick up a four to the 32. Greco goes in motion. He gets the handoff and spins into the secondary, drives forward, still on his feet, and takes it to the 45-yard line. Chris Greco with a terrific run as he hit the hole on the right side of the offensive line and then just spun and twisted his way to a Popton Lakes first down. Greco up over 600 yards rushing. On the season. First and 10. Cardinals at the 45. And here's the throw out to Greco, who dives ahead across the 50 yard line. He takes it up across midfield into Hasbrook Heights territory. Second down. And call it about three. Football sits at about the 48. 13 to 6. Popton Lakes in the lead. Looking for an NJIC championship. Out of the eye. Here's Cotter looking to throw. He's in trouble now, and he will be brought down. First man there was Wexler, and then James Varga finished it off. A nice play by Varga, the linebacker. Good size, six foot, 205. On the tackle, third down. So now it brings up a third and seven. Ball is back at the Pumpton Lakes 48. Trip receivers to the right side. And Cotter in trouble, goes down. Wexler there and Travis Culkin as well. So Cotter is sacked way back at the 40-yard line. So it brings up a fourth and 15, and the Cardinals will have to punt it away. Cole Harriet 
is in to punt. And Josiah Purdy goes back deep to receive this kick for the Aviators. He stands back at his 30-yard line. End over end kick, Purdy Fields, 28-yard line. Gets a block on the corner, and Purdy gets up the sideline. Purdy takes it into Ponton Lakes territory across the 50-yard line. So Hasbrook Heights starts with great field position on the Pompton Lakes side of the field. They'll start at the 49-yard line. With 6.51 remaining in the third quarter. Here's the give to Georgianos. He breaks a tackle and takes it across the 45 down to the 43. Sanders on the stop. Picks up about eight on that play. Second down. And two. Football at the 41. Patro keeps it himself, cuts it in. He's got an aviator first down as he dives up near the 30-yard line. So Hasbro Kites moving the football down to the Popton Lakes 31. They're down by seven. It's 13-6 to six Cardinals. First and ten for the Aviators. Patron gives to Purdy. Josiah Purdy looking to turn the corner, and he will not. Beautiful play by Cole Harriet, who strung the play out, stayed home, and makes the tackle. Well, Purdy still picks up about four on the carry as he takes it down to the 27. Second and six. Patron gives to Georgianos, trying to get outside. He gets to the corner and turns it up. A penalty flag thrown as well. This could be a late hit out of bounds against the Cardinals. So it is a first down, but they'll also tack on yardage to the end of the play. And the official marks it inside the 10, down to about the seven yard line. First and goal, Hasbrook Heights. The Aviators trying to march in and get this game tied up. Officials time as they await the chain gang to move. So it's first and goal. Football at about the seven. Trip receivers go to the right side. Patron checks back and keeps it himself and goes down. No chance on that play as Cameron Clyden comes in to make the play. His fifth tackle for a loss this season and a huge one. As it drives the Aviators back to the 12 or 13 yard line. So second and goal now. Defense, 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 defense,
Ayurado, the lone setback, back there with Quachoa. He keeps it himself again and goes off tackle. Puts his head down, gets inside the 10-yard line. Frank Negrini in on the tackle for the Cardinals. So it's third and goal from the nine. Three minutes and 50 seconds left in the third quarter. Ponton Lakes with a seven-point lead. It's 13-6. to six. Hasbrook Heights banging on the door here with trips to the left. Quachon keeps it himself. Makes a move. Gets to the corner. Makes the turn at the five. He is in. Touchdown, Hasbrook Heights. Frank Quatron exploding to the corner. Takes it in for his second rushing touchdown of the day. And the Aviators are an extra point away from tying the game. It is 13 to 12. And they'll go for two. Hasbrook Heights trying to take the lead here. Going for two. Interesting play here by the Aviators. Quattrone keeps it himself. Fires. It's good. A two point conversion. Excellent execution by Hasbrook Heights. Mac DiCiara on the reception takes it in for two, and Hasbrook Heights takes the lead. It's 14 13 Aviators on a two point conversion. Wow. You want to take out your 50-50 tickets, please? Take out your 50-50 tickets. We have a winner over $400. The winning number is 34395. That's 34395. Do we have a winner? If you go down to the table... The poster table down by your ticket, uh, Bobby, and get your money. 34 3395. So the Aviators will kick it off. They lead it now, 14 to 13. Hasbrook Heights with its first lead of the game. Pazamano takes it inside the 10. He's across the 20, gets a block, and then takes it up across the 30 yard line. So the Cardinals will have the football, but they trail for the first time today by one point, 14 to 13. Quatron on the touchdown run, and then the Aviators going for two to take the lead. And they were successful. It is a one-point advantage for Hasbrook Heights, 14 to 13. With three minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Great game here in the NJIC championship. Kevin Connor comes up under center. He fakes the handoff, rolls out right side. Now he's going to run it himself. Connor slides down at the 35-yard line as Purdy was coming in to make the tackle. It's a... Short pickup on the play, maybe three yards or so. So second down and seven, upcoming at the 35-yard line. Twin receivers go left side for the Cardinals. And all sorts of movement 
on the line of scrimmage. This is going to be a legal procedure against Pompton Lakes. So that'll back the cards up five and push it back to the 30-yard line. It'll bring up a second and 12. Connor looks towards the sidelines, gets the play. Trip receivers line up left side for Popton Lakes. On a second and 12, Connor flips it out, incomplete. Intended for Greco, but out of his reach. And now it'll be third and 12. Popton Lakes. Winners of seven state titles in their great history. 82, 97, 98. That was the great snowstorm game, the win over Westwood. 2005, 11, 12, and 13. Three in a row between 11 and 13. They went 33 and 3 during that span. The Cardinals won three straight sectional titles. Here's Cotter looking to throw. He's looking, fires, caught. The catch is made by Steve Sanders, who makes the catch and gets away from the defender and takes it up across the 45-yard line to the 48. So that's a first down for Pompton Lakes. Sanders on the reception. The junior coming in with 10 catches, averaging over 13 yards per catch, and a good throw by Cotter. First and 10, Pompton Lakes. The Cardinals at their own 49. A minute 40 left third quarter. Hasbrook Heights with a one-point lead. It's 14-13. Here's the give to Greco. And nowhere to go this time. He's hit and dropped at the line of scrimmage. Good defensive play for the Aviators. Dylan Freshy in on the tackle for Hasbrook Heights. Might have picked up a half a yard. Second down. We're still going to call it 10. Second and 10 for Pompton Lakes at their own 49. Cardinals taking a long time to get this play in. Here is Connor looking to throw. He's hit as he releases. It's incomplete. Jordan Wexler in on the play. Wexler getting in there and hitting Connor as he released it. So it's third and nine. Third and nine at the 49. Connor in the gun. Greco goes in motion. Connor straight back to throw. He's in trouble. Now he's going long. Lofts it up into coverage, and it's nearly intercepted. Intended for McDonald, but he was double covered downfield. Still, Connor had to get rid of it because Hasbro Heights put the pressure on. So the Cardinals will have to punt it away on a fourth down and nine. And Cole Harriet comes in to kick for Pompton Lakes. 36 seconds left in the third quarter. Hasbrook Heights with a one-point lead. They're up 14 to 13. Josiah Purdy back deep to receive the kick. Kind of a knuckleball off the foot 
there of Harriet, and it's down inside the 15. So Hasbrook Heights will start deep in their own territory. Talked about some of the great history of Pop the Lace football, Hasbrook Heights as well. Since 1920, 1920, the Aviators have won 19 Group 1 sectional titles. Four championships since the NJSIA playoffs were instituted back in 1974. Those championships coming in 75, 76, 94, and 2007, where they defeated New Milford 26-16 that year at Giant Stadium. Right here trying to claim an NJIC title. They're up by one point by virtue of that two-point conversion 25 seconds left here in the third quarter frank quattrone's got two rushing touchdowns and he takes it again and is brought down at the line of scrimmage mcdonald with a good open field tackle pickup of about two or three we'll give it three second and seven and that should be the last play of the third quarter here at jam-packed hirschfield park our score, Hasbrook Heights 14, Pompton Lakes 13. Fourth quarter upcoming in the NJIC Championship A News 12 Varsity's Game Time. Welcome back to News 12 Varsity's Game Time on this Saturday afternoon here at Hirschfield Park in Pompton Lakes. Lou Brogno with you on the call for the inaugural NJIC Championship game, and it has been a terrific game so far. Hasbrook Heights with a one-point lead as we enter the fourth quarter. It's 14-13 Aviators. Second down and seven for Hasbrook Heights as they begin the fourth quarter. The football sits at about the 15-yard line. Here's a give to Georgianos, who's hit and dropped at the line of scrimmage. Good defensive play by Joe Nicoletti, the senior defensive end. Nicoletti, that good size, 6'1", 265. And he makes the play. So a third and seven now for Hasbrook Heights. Big play here. And if the Aviators don't pick up the first down, they'll have to punt it from deep in their own territory. And Popton Lakes will figure to get good field position around midfield. Quatrone takes the snap. Keeps it himself, breaks a tackle, drives forward. He'll be short of the first down. Had to get to the 23-yard line, and he's marked at about the 20. So it'll be fourth and three at the 20-yard line. And Josiah Purdy. Will punt it away. Back deep to receive it. Chris Greco, he stands at about the 50-yard line. Purdy's kick, it's a short kick. Off the side of his foot, takes a good Hasbrook Heights bounce, but is downed at the 43-yard line. 
Popton Lakes will start this drive in Hasbrook Heights territory at the 43. So first and 10, Popton Lakes at the 43. Plenty of time. 10 minutes and 29 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Aviators with a one-point lead. They're up 14-13. McDonald goes wide to the left. Trip receivers to the right. There's Cotter looking to throw, and he's hit. Ball is loose and recovered by Hasbrook Heights at the 50-yard line. Cotter was stripped as he went back to pass. And Hasbrook Heights recovers the football. So a big defensive play for the Aviators as they get the strip and the fumble right at midfield. Let's see if Hasbrook Heights can take advantage of it. So first and ten, Quattrone flips it outside Purdy. Purdy on the corner, uses a straight arm, and is ridden out of bounds at about the 45. Pick up a five on the play. It'll be second down and five for the Aviators at the Pop that Lakes 45. Give Ayurado's got good yardage here as he crashes down near the 40. It looks like that initial spot should give him a first down, and that it will be enough for a Hasbro Heights first down at the Pompton Lakes 39. Hasbrook Heights with a one-point lead and the football at the Pompton Lakes 39. Nine minutes and 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Quattrone gives it to Georgianos. He cuts it in. The ball is loose. Fumble on the play. And it looks like Hasbrook Heights able to jump on top of the loose ball at the 37. So the Aviators catch a break. Pompton Lakes popped it free. But Hasbrook Heights recovers their own fumble. A pickup of about three. It'll be second and seven. Both teams with all three timeouts remaining here in this fourth quarter. Second down and seven for the Aviators. And Quattrone fakes the handoff, rolls out, right side, fires, and it is incomplete. It, it'll bring up third and seven. Clock stopped with 8.54 left. From the 37-yard line.
Patron keeps it himself, trying to hit the corner. And he changes direction and drives forward. He ran into a wall, put the brakes on, changed direction. Nico Negrini in on the tackle for Popton Lakes. He is short of the first down, so a critical play upcoming here. It's going to be fourth down and almost three for Hasbrook Heights. They have to get to almost the 29, and the football is at about the 32. Huge play here. Trip receivers go right side on a fourth and three. Patron looking to throw. Now he's in trouble. McDonald, and they get him. Compton Lakes sacks Patron behind the line of scrimmage. Frank Negrini makes the tackle, but it was McDonald who poured in. Nick McDonald from his safety position on a blitz. And Pompton Lakes defense comes up big. Following the fumble at midfield, they'll take over at their own 38. So first and 10 for the Cardinals now as twin receivers go to the left side. And Pompton Lakes comes up in the eye. They'll give it to Greco. He bounces outside and brought down. Good open field tackle by Hasbrook Heights. Dylan Orieva comes up and makes the open field stop. It's a pickup, though, of three, and it's second down and seven. Seven and a half remaining in the fourth quarter. Pompton Lakes trailing by one, 14-13. And a delayed handoff, Greco. He is hit and drives forward. But a short pickup on the play, maybe a yard. Aviators play it well defensively. Sean O'Malley in on the tackle. O'Malley on the stop, third down and four. And John I... Ayurado also in on the play. So it's a third down and four. Forward progress given up to the 44-yard line. So third and four, Popton Lakes. Six minutes and 40 seconds left in the game. It's a one-point lead for Hasbrook Heights with an NJIC championship on the line. Here's a handoff. Off tackle, nothing doing. The fullback, Cole Harriet, carried the football. But only a yard pickup to the 45. So fourth and three upcoming. Looks like Ponta Lakes will punt it away. Harriet drops back in punt formation. And Josiah... Purdy is back deep to receive the kick for the Aviators. Pop the Lakes playing field position here with all three of their timeouts remaining and still plenty of time. Five minutes and 45 seconds left. End over end kick away from Purdy and it bounces out at about the 22 yard line. So Hasbro Kites will have the football with five minutes and 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The Aviators with a one-point lead by virtue of that two-point conversion. As Quattro hit Matt DiCiera, who took it in. Frank Quattro with two rushing touchdowns in the game. Quattron flips it outside. Purdy makes the catch. Purdy breaks a tackle and takes it up to about the 28-yard line. Hasbrook Heights, a long, proud program. 1969, undefeated that season. Finished number one in the entire state of New Jersey and number 10 in the nation, Hasbrook Heights. 
And between 1970 and 79, tied for the highest Bergen County winning percentage with Bergen Catholic. There's been a lot of winning going on at Hasbrook Heights throughout their great history. And the same with Pompton Lakes. When it comes to small school football, these are two of the finest programs you'll find. Here's a fumble. Ayurado loses the handle. The ball loose. Recovered by Pompton Lakes. Hasbrook Heights loses the football. Compton Lakes recovers. There's an injured Cardinal down on the far sideline. Pompton Lakes will have the ball. But a timeout on the field. 4.47 remaining in the fourth quarter as they attend to the injured player on the far side. And it's Greco. He appears to be okay. Might have just got the wind knocked out of him, Chris Greco, but he walks off the field under his own power. That's great to see. Outstanding senior player for the Cardinals. And hopefully he can get back out on the field here in the next four minutes and 47 seconds. His team with an opportunity now. They'll have the football at the Hasbro Kites 24. First and 10, Pompton Lakes. Roberto Herrera, the Pompton Lakes kicker, beginning to warm up on the sidelines. Remember, the Cardinals only need a field goal to take take the lead. And Pompton Lakes uses the first of their three timeouts remaining. Four minutes and 47 seconds remaining in the fourth. Hasbro Heights 14, Pompton Lakes 13. First and ten, Cardinals at the Hasbro Heights 24. Cotter looking to throw. He fires. Bosomato hit incomplete. He had it momentarily, but a big hit by Phil Viola of Hasbro Heights. Viola separated Bosomato from the ball. Excellent defensive play. That would have been a big gainer for the Cardinals. So now it brings up second and ten. Twin receivers go to the right side. Greco's back in there at tailback. Gets the handoff and drives forward, but not much. Ayurado in to make the tackle for Hasbrook Heights. Pickup of only a yard, third and nine. (laughs) 
Four minutes and 15 seconds left. Popton Lakes breaks the huddle. Third and nine. Crowd is on its feet on both sides of the field, and now Hasbrook Heights takes one of their three timeouts. So the clock stops with 4.02 remaining in the fourth quarter. Hasbrook Heights leading by the score of 14 to 13. From a PowerPoint perspective, Pompton Lakes right now is in second place in North Jersey Group 2. The Cardinals with 122 power points. Mawa in first with 135. If Pompton Lakes should come from behind and win this game, they should secure the number one seed in the Group 2 playoff picture. Newton is third right now, Westwood fourth, and Waldwick at number five. And Hasbrook Heights, number one in power points for North One Group One, with New Milford second, Booton third, and Beckton fourth. So both of these teams figure to be number one seeds when the playoffs begin next week. Here's Cotter looking to throw. Cotter in trouble, goes down. Ayurado with a terrific play. Ayurado with a Outstanding defensive play. And he sacks Cotter behind the line of scrimmage. So now a fourth down and almost 20. Well, line of scrimmage is the 32. They need to get to the 14. So it's fourth and 18. Cotter looking to throw. Heavy pressure. Gets away. He fires down the field. Knocked away. Good defensive play by Matt Tachara. But the game not over yet. Three minutes and 14 seconds remaining. Hasbrook Heights will have the football. But Popton Lake still has two timeouts remaining. So the Aviators will have a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Two huge defensive plays on that last defensive stance by Hasbrook Heights. The big hit by Viola to thwart what would have been a first down pass play. Big play by Ayurado. Actually, three outstanding defensive plays. And then the knockdown by DiCiara down the field. Here is Quintrone, keeps it himself, hits the corner, turns it upfield, and takes it across the 40-yard line. Frank Quintrone. That's close to a first down. It is a first down for the Aviators. So they move the chains. Keep possession across the 40-yard line, up to the 42 Inside three minutes now, left in the game. It is first and ten. Hasbrook Heights at the 42. Ayurado gets the handoff, and he carries up ahead, up near the 50-yard line. Pompton Lakes needs to make a defensive stop if they want any hope to come back in this game. They look, turn around, look up at the scoreboard clock. It's ticking down towards two minutes left. Here's 
He hands it off to Squatron. Ayurado breaks into the secondary and has a Hasbrook Heights first down. He bursts through the hole and takes it down near the 40-yard line. First and 10 for the Aviators at the 41-yard line. And now Popton Lakes will stop the clock. One minute, 44 seconds left in the game. Hasbrook Heights just a minute, 44 away from the NJIC championship. Popton Lakes led early in this game on a touchdown pass from Kevin Cotter to Nick Pazamato. 22 yards, extra point. Was good, 7 nothing. Popton Lakes. Frank Quatrone then ran it in for a touchdown. Extra point was blocked. It was 7-6, still Popton Lakes. Then the Cardinals got a touchdown on a screen pass from Connor to Chris Greco, who took it in. But their extra point went wide. It was 13-6. Quatrone ran it in for a touchdown. Made it 13-12, to 12, and then a two-point conversion. Quattrone to Matt DiCiera. And that's where we're at, 14-13. Here is a good run there by Ayurado. Takes it out of bounds. He picks up about six or seven on the carry, so a second down upcoming. Clock stopped with a minute 36 left. But this is pretty simple here. Hasbro Kites just continues to run the ball, pick up positive yardage. They'll simply run the clock out. Popton Lakes has only one timeout remaining. Ayurado gets the handoff, and Popton Lakes does a good job defensively this time, and they'll stop him. At the line of scrimmage, and the Cardinals will use their final timeout. With a minute 29 left. So Scott Mahoney burns that last timeout. So it's third down and about two upcoming. If Hasbro Kites, they'll have really two shots here to get the first down. And a first down will seal the deal, really, for the Aviators. They'll be able to run out the clock as the Cardinals will not be able to stop it again. So the big crowd here on the Popton Lakes side, quiet. As the Cardinals' backs are up against the wall. A great first ever NJIC championship game. Third down and two. Quatrone with a long snap count here, trying to draw Popton Lakes offside. They are unable to do so, and the Aviators take a timeout. So Hasbro Heights takes the timeout. Third down and about two. 
as Brickheit's trying to slam the door here on Pompton Lakes. Quattrone gives up the middle. Ayurado, he's got a first down. Looks like he's close. He should have enough for the first down. Let's see where they mark it. It's down near the 30-yard line, and they'll call for a measurement. Looked at first glance like he had the first down, but that mark will be very close. So here's the measurement. And it is a first down, Hasbrook Heights. That should do it for the Aviators. Their fans are in celebration mode. Pompton Lakes cannot stop the clock. With a minute 23 left. Remember the Aviators rolling the dice and going on the two-point conversion. Could have kicked it there and would have tied the game, but instead, Hasbrook Heights went for two. They made it a successful two-point conversion, which gave them the lead. And that is going to win the game for Hasbrook Heights as Quattrone takes the knee. So Hasbrook Heights about to seal the deal here. They will win the first ever NJIC championship. What a game here at Pompton Lakes. A tremendous atmosphere and just a great day of high school football. As Quattro takes that knee, and that's going to do it as the clock Ticks down. Final score. Hasbrook Heights 14, Pompton Lakes 13. The Aviators go to 8-0 on the year. The Cardinals lose their first in this 2016 season as they drop to 7-1. Both teams will be in the playoffs next week. But it's Hasbrook Heights who claims the first ever NJIC Championship. We'll be back to talk about the Aviators Championship win in just a few moments here on News 12 Varsity's Game Time.